Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessTrade.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Hopefully everybody did better than me today. Um, here's kind of how we broke it down, right? If, if you remember last night's video, um, there were several things I didn't want to do. I definitely didn't want to be long Tesla. Definitely didn't want to be long BYND and the intraday ranks today. I just felt that ship has sailed, right? Didn't want to be long Apple, stuff like that. So that was a check. You know, that was a check. And I knew when I was recording the video yesterday, they were all gapping up and we just saw a huge gap up. I, I just felt like, you know what? The party at least is over for me. Uh, my belly is warm. I'm okay if they go higher. God bless. Again, I don't want to be the last kid uh, waiting for the bus. Okay. Um, I also knew last night, based on my research and based on what we talked about yesterday, that I felt like there was going to be a rotation, number one, into uh, the pot stocks, right, that we covered uh, that we covered last night um, that you know, did very well today, did very, very well today. So, you know, that was a check. Um, I also believe there was going to be some sort of rotation out of Apple and out of Tesla, potentially, right, out of Apple, out of Tesla, um, out of some, you know, out of some of the bigger names that we we watch all the time, and maybe into you know maybe going into uh, a Netflix or Roku, maybe even an Amazon. Uh, I know crazy to say, considering how horrible the stock is in its own uh, bear market, which is again not here nor there. Um, so that was a check. So when I woke up this morning, I said, "All right, all right, Tesla's up another ten, blah blah blah." Okay, no big deal. I made my piece. I'm not. I have no part of it. Uh, beyond up another five six. Okay, whatever it is. Eventually, it's going to tap out, and there'll be a back, you know, there'll be a backside move. So I know I didn't want to buy them, but you know, maybe, maybe I want to sell them. You know, maybe you want to sell them, and if they stop going up, right? If they stop going up and demonstrate lower lows on, on the sixty minute channel, there might be a trade. There might be finally a crack in the armor, more of BYND than than Tesla, because I knew Tesla's going to need at least a couple of days of roundabout tops. It's not going to be. You know, just one move and then uh, it's going to get wrecked. It's not. Trust me, it's not. Uh, especially the, the the most aggressive stocks I've ever traded in my career. They, they need a bot. You know, they need a topping out process. They need several days. Again, remember, think chicken running around without without its head, right? It's still going to be running around and, and just any dip. Again, newer traders, they're 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 almost force fed the idea of buying the dip on strong stocks. Maybe they work, maybe they don't. But there's a way to do it. There's a you know, there's definitely a method to madness. Um, so I kind of, you know, I was kind of simmering everything. You know, we talked about, uh, this at morning strategy. Uh, we had a dip this morning, uh, in the pot stocks and that was perfect. That's exactly what we want that we talked about the last night in the video, I believe, uh, definitely this morning in morning strategy. And then we had the upgrade today in Netflix, right? So we had potential, uh, pot stocks following through and a potential, into another beta name that's just been sitting there and it's, it's a Wall Street darling and everybody wants to get long. And, you know, I had everything down packed today, okay? I had everything down packed and we'll talk about the individual pivots later. Um, and I somehow lost, I, I, I somehow lost track of like reality today a little bit. And, 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 and if you look at the pivots today, right? If you look at the pivots, there were some really, really strong pivots, right? Um, and I'll, you know, this is the one that really started my day to the wrong way, right? To the wrong side. But TCOM was good, and the pot stocks were good. Um, you know, they were good, and um, beyond. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. So there was some, you know, there was some pretty good pivots. Uh, Tesla, you know, Tesla. I was waiting for the downside move that never obviously came. Um, you know, and then Tesla to the upside was a big, big push. Tesla went. 340 to 345 and everything was good. Hell, I even traded names, uh, TCOM, a uh, nice push on TCOM went from like 38 to 38.50. And I found myself trading names like crazy names, like uh, like OSTK. And again, I wouldn't be trading these names, but I'll tell you exactly why I, you know, I was trading them. So I got long OSTK in the, you know, in the eight, uh, 860s level. 
Uh, and I said, hey, listen, there's a, there's a shot that gets, that gets to this 52-week high, and it did, and it went through, and everything was fine. I bought this thing uh, on an option sweep, right, on an option sweep at $7. You know, that was fine. Hell, I even traded a little stock today. No joke. I even traded a little stock today from like 67 cents, and it went up like, I forgot what it was, when it was my last sale. It actually went up more. Uh, but I did okay, man. I think I caught it for like seven, eight cents, whatever the hell it was. It was okay. So you, you say to yourself, well, where the hell did I go wrong? Well, let me show you. As much as all these things are all cute and all day, I trade bigger, right? So I said to myself, you know what? My focus today will be on Netflix. So Netflix got upgraded and it was up like seven, right? Up seven, eight points uh, pre-market. And I was like, all right, you know what? I I'm looking for a dip to buy this thing. Uh, the previous high on, on the previous high on Netflix was like that 343.50 level. If it back tests, right? If it back tests and holds, I want to get long because it'll probably trap shorts and go higher, right? So I buy the back test. I buy the back test somewhere around here, around the 340, a little lower than 345, right? It goes up like 50 cents or so, 40 cents or so. And then I notice that they start spreading down the stock, right? They spread down the stock. So not only did the stock come in already $5, they started spreading down the stock. And I said to myself, oh, that's not a good, that's not good at all. And next thing I see, they start pulling Apple and they start, they start pulling Alibaba and they start pulling Facebook. And I go, well, I got a problem in my hands. So I wound up losing... You know, I wound up losing, not a lot, but I wound up losing about 70, 80, I think about, about 80 cents, right? About 80 cents on the trade. So I wound up losing about 80 cents on the trade. Not the end of the world, right? So I said to myself, well, well, let me, well, wait a minute, self. So if they're pulling everything and now they're pulling the stock that actually got upgraded, and if you've been watching the market, any beta day that gets upgraded, this explodes, they might, this is the day they might finally start pulling everything in sight. So then I started watching BYNB, right? So then I started watching BYNB and I said to myself, I'm telling you, man, if it starts losing this range, right? If it starts losing this range right here, right? This 120 area, this thing can get hit. I think the stock can get to, I think the stock can get to uh, 114, right? I think, I, say, I think it could get to 114. I think there's six points in the trade. And if you look at the low of the day today, right? If you look at the low of the day today, it was 114. Where's the problem? Let me tell you what the problem is. So I don't mind losing money on a trade. Hell, I don't even mind having a losing day. And I fought all day back and I just came very, very close, but no cigar. I still want the bread on the day, which is fine. Again, at the end of the day, it's fine. You can have a losing days. It's all good, right? It's all good. It's a scrape on the knee, nothing even to talk about. But what, what Beyond did to me, if you guys ever, if all you guys remember in the 90s or even the 2000s, there was a show called Oz. You guys remember that show called Oz on uh, HBO? If you haven't seen that show, incredible. I felt like I was one of those prisoners, one of those victims in the shower. Okay. I shorted BYND and before I can blink, I was up about $1.70 in the trade. I'm talking about three seconds, right? Three seconds. And before my brain could even process what's going on, like really, really process what's going on, I turned around and it went from 118, okay, 118 to 122 in a matter of 15 seconds after that, okay? And it sat there and sat there and sat there. It dipped a little bit, right? And then they spread me out again. So yada, 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 I went from, and this is, and I, I'm telling you, I was in the trade for 40 seconds, okay? I went literally from being up $1.70 or so in the trade to being down $3 in the trade in about 30, 40 seconds. It was the most aggressive scene from Oz that you can possibly have seen. And that was like, it was just wrong. And why was it wrong? Because again, stock gets rejected. And then an hour later, and again, it was my choice that I just didn't want to get back into it. I figured, you know what, let me, I would rather take a loss on the day. And at that point, I was just in, in I took a loss already in Netflix. Uh, just again, because everything just completely, uh, completely spread, spread down. And again, it happens. And now I had a pretty, you know, pretty bad day going. Right? I have a pretty crappy day going. So I, the most important thing for me is I, I don't, 
I don't revenge trade. I, I, I always look at every single day uh, and every single trade is an individual, you know, an indi individual up. So for example, I can go five, six trades making money on Tesla. On the sixth trade, if I lose money, I'm not gonna say, oh, well, F Tesla, I'm never gonna trade it again. It's his own individual merit. So I, you know, I, I wanted to wait, I wanted to wait, and then I started chipping away again. I started trading these weird stocks, TEUM and Overstock. And again, they might not be weird to you, they're all weird for me, because I usually don't trade them. But that's kind of where my quote unquote value was for the day. Um, so I started making back some money, I started making back some money. I got within, you know, with, within reaching distance of green and then not so much. Uh, so I wanted the day red and I'm okay with that, okay? Uh, but it, again, it really does show you, okay? It really does show you how fast something can turn. And even though my premise was right, even though I said, wow, this is gonna be good, this should be a $6 move and it was a perfect move to, to right to 114, Again, man, I, I, it just, I'm trying to replay the day in my mind. And this was, you know, this is eight, nine hours ago, and it still bothered me the way it happened so fast. Again, you know, it, it, you know it's fine to lose money in a day, fine to lose money in a trade, but to, to not have a shot, right? To not have an, a shot uh, to kind of have some, you know, it's, it's kind of save some of your money on that trade. That I, I really felt like a victim, man. If, if I could fill out a police report, I, I would. And somebody asked me, like, <laughs> How'd you know, you know, why did you not put a stop and break even? I mean, everything happened so fast that it was literally a blink of an eye. And this is what we talk about, uh, the power of the market gods humbling you in a very, very quick way. So even though it didn't turn out to be a terrible day, knock on wood, it took life out of me. I mean, it really, really took life out of me. And when somebody turned around and said, hey, you know, today's only Tuesday, I said, wow, that's kind of crazy. So if you guys remember yesterday, it was looking for rotation for pot names. Uh, the pot names still look good. Okay, pot names still look good. They had a really, really good run today. Um, they had a really, really good run today. I still think they probably have one more run in it for tomorrow. Okay, but if you look at the general market, and I went through a lot of stocks after the close, I really did. Um, it, it really does feel like it's kind of a weird marriage going on right now, and the husband and wife are staying together for the sake of the kids. So I can't get a grasp, man. I, I really can't get a grasp. But again, for example, if you look at BYND, Right, I was right before the close. I was like, "Man, this is inverted hammer. This is bearish. Uh, the stock has just run from 75 to 135. I mean, this thing is an inverted hammer. This is bearish, bearish, bearish." And what does Beyond do? Beyond comes out with, in my opinion, a fluff PR after the close, and now the stock is up another uh, four dollars after the close. Again, I want to see exactly how uh, the bears treat this PR. I think it's a fluff PR personally. Um, I will be looking for any type of weakness uh, for tomorrow's session in, in the stock. It's 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 easy to borrow. Doesn't mean it's gonna be an easy trade. It'll probably be an easier trade on the options if you are an options trader. Um, but I think if it starts losing, right? If they reject this PR, and I think it's a nonsense PR. But if they reject this PR, right? If they reject this PR on this inverted hammer. And this, again, this is this is the most basic thing. Uh, this is the most basic study in the Japanese candlesticks. Again, if you look at a hammer, it's bullish. If you look at an inverted hammer, it's bearish. So if they reject this PR and starts confirming the bottom of the range, you know, can it get down to 107? Hell, can it get down to 100? Yes, 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 and yes. So uh, I definitely want to watch uh, that. Uh, so let's kind of go into uh, tomorrow's session again. You know, it, it, a loss is a part of the business. Uh, I got very, very fortunate enough. There was enough things for me to make back a good amount. But again, It sucks. It's part of the business. It's not gonna be my first losing day. It's also not gonna be my last. Uh, it's part of the game. Like we talked about every single day, the days you're having on a big, big run, the interval you're having a big run, you have a short memory, you have a short memory in the days you can't get going. And tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's more value. And we, again, we wait for confirmation. Again, that is the discipline and that's the whole point of being an adult and being uh, responsible. So let's talk about some ideas for tomorrow. Again, BYND, I will be waiting for uh, some sort of confirmation tomorrow, uh, lower highs, lower lows on the 60 minute channel. And again, if it confirms this move here, there is, there isn't a lot of room. There's, you know, there could be at least, you know, eight to $10 on the first move on this, on this trade. So I want to keep an eye on BYND. Um, TLRY, again, huge moves. I mean, really, really big moves today. If you look at uh, the pivots today, you know, TLRY, uh, 1780, uh, 1780, 18 needs to build. I mean, this damn thing went nuts. I mean, the thing, the thing went to 21 and a half today, just huge, huge moves. Same thing uh, with CGC. If you look at CGC, it was, same, uh, it was the same play, right? It was the same play. And we talked about CGC, watch uh, red to green. Note this is not a pivot, still needs to confirm that 2230, 22, 2250 area, CGC, exactly the same thing. 
uh, went to uh, as, as high as 24 and a half. So I think there is one more day. Um, preferably, I would like a washout in the morning trap on the 60 minute channel and going. So I want to definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, as well. Um, and one more, let me give you guys one more. I, I kind of like this uh, RVLV. Um, again, we're looking for, again, keep this in mind, we're looking for rotation and the stock's coming off a bottom, coming off. Again, if you look at every single one of the, 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 the pivots today, they all have the same thing, like TCOM coming off a middle chart, um, like, uh, you know, all these things, the, 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 the pot stocks, they, they all have the same thing. They're coming off a middle or a bottom chart. So we're looking for the same thing. So RVLV, uh, looks interesting as well. Again, big, long, just ugly distribution channel. If it starts confirming today's price action, you know, it gets above that 2075, you know, 2080s area. It starts building. Uh, you could get a push initially to the 2160s. And then if it confirms this in the next couple of days, you could get a big run. Again, the rotation, some of these names are there for a big run. Uh, so I kind of like that as well. Uh, for all you guys who obviously trade beta, please get to morning strategy um, early tomorrow. We're going to talk about Tesla. We're going to talk about Beyond uh, and Netflix and all that stuff. Again, life gives you lemons. Sometimes it's lemons, right? You can't make them into lemonade. It's all part of the game. Short memory. God bless. I'll see you all tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.